So you want to make a mesh for your rig really, really quickly, but you don't have the time or you have a very difficult time making your actual rigs mesh. Hey guys, welcome back to Touch by Kai. I'm Kai, and today we are back in Blender once again. Today we're taking a look at Skinify, which is a... Uh, which is kind of like Rigify, if you're familiar with that. So they kind of go hand in hand. So first things we're going to do is we're going to delete the default uh, cube. We're actually going to leave the camera and the light today. I know it's weird. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to have a cycles render just because I like cycles better. Um, and first things we're going to do is we hit Shift A after we've made sure our, uh, our uh, add-on is actually enabled. Of course, go up there, search it, and hit the check mark and save user settings as always. And now that we have that done, we can hit Shift A or go over here to Create. Actually, we can't go to Create yet. We have to hit Shift A, Shift A and we're gonna add in some kind of uh, some kind of mesh, um, some kind of rig. Sorry, we're gonna add in a bone as to scale it up. Tab to go into Edit Mode, and we're just gonna E uh, Z to extend this a couple of times, just like four or so times. Um, now we have our rig, and of course, we can you know pose them or whatever I guess that's a rig maybe it's like a, a snake rig I don't know whatever um, so we have our rig and what we're gonna do with our rig is we're gonna go over to this bone tab over here and, um, and we're gonna scroll all the way down and what we, what you can see we have now if we go into object mode it disappears so you have to be in pose mode for this to work um, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna scroll on down to until we get to this skinify rig down here um, and there's a lot of settings, but first things first, we're going to just use the default settings and you'll be able to see that it only creates a bone on the one I was selecting. So we're going to control Z that it only creates a rig on the bone I was selecting. So we're going to select everything by double tapping A. And then we're going to hit add shape. Now we've added our shape um, really quickly. I'm going to go and turn X-ray on and turn the bone display to stick. Um, so this is what we have now. We have our we have our rig with our bones and we have our mesh. So pretty much what this did is it added a really really quick uh, mesh onto our bones which is really really handy and I know you're like whoa there have these weird gaps I know how we can fix that so first things first we're gonna control Z all of that um, and we're going to turn it back on stick and x-ray um, so we're gonna go back to our bones with all of them selected we're gonna make sure we have fill gaps solid shape and all shapes all tick actually you don't need fill gaps and all shapes I don't think we can just do that with just a solid shape yeah solid shape is what we need so we're gonna hit solid shape and um, with all of this, you can see that now we have a fluid, a fluid whole mesh right here that we can work around with. It looks more like a snake or like a balloon animal or maybe a really thin arm if you're doing that kind of style um, of animation. So that's really cool. And I know you're like, well, what if I want to do a whole big thing and I'll, maybe I want to make this bigger? You can turn up the body shape. I'm going to delete this. You can turn up the body shape to like, let's just do three finger size up to one. And hit add, and then it's much thicker, as you can see. That's like a that's like a bulky arm, right? So this is where we can get a a, a a bit of different shapes. As you can tell, it's pretty low poly. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do this one more time with everything selected, and we're gonna turn up the sub level to like three, and then hit add shape. And now you can tell that we have a much more clear, a much more higher resolution um, mesh to work with. Uh, and of course, you can always just select that and just go and add a subdivision surface. Uh, rather than just turning up a subdivision in the modifier like I just showed. So, instead of doing that, really quickly, since this video is going to be quite short, ooh, we will move that in object mode. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to add in one more bone, well, one more rig. So, uh, Shift C to get my cursor back in the center. Um, and we're going to hit Shift A. And we're going to add in a human a human rig. This is from the Rigify, like I, uh, the Rigify uh, add on, like I mentioned earlier. That you can also enable in the preferences so we're going to do the same exact thing in pose mode we're going to select everything and this this works a little less with with very very high dense bones like the fingers and everything else it might look a little weird with this face but uh, it's definitely a great starting point um for you build off of so we're going to turn that body back down to like 1.25 because that's going to be really big we're going to hit apply shape this we should probably should turn the subdivision down this might take a second but um, what it's going to be doing is going to do the same exact thing, but you're going to be able to tell that it's it's much yeah it's much different. Like I said, it doesn't it doesn't get all the bones, especially because this is still too thick. So we're going to uncheck solid shape just for the beginning for this. We're going to go 0.5 with that, and we're going to turn the subdivision down back to one. And as you can tell, you can you should be able to see that we're getting those basic bones, which is like I said, very very handy, um, very very handy. Let's turn 
the x-ray for these bones on and turn the stick all right here we go so now we have uh, a, a nice base a nice base like i said you can definitely start modeling with this that's what i'm gonna that's what i'm gonna say you should definitely do with this you have the fingers fingers are very difficult so if not for anything you should uh, definitely do this just to get the base for the fingers and then model on top of them we're gonna delete this mesh and we're gonna do this one more time um, double tap A to select everything, and we're going to hit solid shape back on, and we're going to hit add shape again. Um, and as you can tell, now we have our connected fingers, everything. This is actually a very, very useful, as you can tell, of course, you have to go in and do some of the, um, some of the, uh, the weight painting yourself. Like, just like anything, I mean, regular, uh, rigging requires that, that kind of, uh, that kind of task unfortunately <laughs> i wish it would just be perfect all the time but unfortunately it's not but the great thing about this is like i said you can definitely go and model some stuff on here like i can just like take this arm go in and do some sculpting on top of the arm you know make it a little more make it a little more buff than what it was i guess and it, it's a nice starting point of course i'm using my mouse so it's a bit more difficult but like i said it's a it's a definitely a nice starting point and um and that is that like i said you can do that with anything they have um they have uh, animals and everything else that you can do this with in the Rigify, um, in the Rigify add-on as well. So if we do this one last time before this video is over, we can go pose mode, add shape, and as you can tell, we have a nice starting base for the spine of the horse. You can of course make this bigger. Like I said, some work better than others. Um, you know, some of these might be a bit difficult, but like I said, you can always add on to the base. It's just a nice, a nice thing to be able to have in your back pocket, especially when modeling. Um, because I know modeling can be very difficult a lot of the times, especially, like I said, with those more complex shapes like fingers. Um, you know, people are, are, are pretty difficult, especially in the facial region. If you turn up this, um, if you turn up this, these settings, you might be able to get some of these face, these face um, details in here too. So let's do that a little bit. Fingers. Ooh. Maybe, maybe, maybe able to get some of these in here. Like I said, yeah, you'll be able to get something in, but that was obviously that's too much. But um, yeah, just play around with it a lot. You know, that's that's the biggest thing here. Like I said, just making um, some stuff. That's a really weird looking face. But like I said, if you play around with it a lot, you'll be able to get some good results. I hope this was helpful. I hope the fingers definitely are very, very so helpful. Um, but like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. I hope you guys learned something. If you did, please subscribe. It shows me that you care. I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. But until then, bye.